Welcome to Genuine Cora guys. This is the 12th video in the JPhoenix material design tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the JPhoenix snack bar in your JavaFX application. And the uh, snack bar is the best way to give some notification to the user. And in this video, let's see how. So I have a sample application opened a sample JavaFX application and what I want to do is I want to show a snack bar during the starting of the application so uh, the, uh, I'm going to add a snack bar using JFX snack bar snack bar equal to new JFX snack bar so that's it and the snack bar constructor is overloaded in two forms one with the uh, um, no parameters and another with a snack bar container so this one is more efficient I mean uh, we can decrease the number of lines by passing a container so this is the most important parameter and the container is nothing but the container on which you want to include the snack bar so in my case my container is anchor pane so I'm gonna give you a name to that one and let it be root pane okay now it's saved and I want to get that variable here so I'm going to make a controller so I got the root pane here and I'm going to pass that root pane to this snack bar so that's it and I have got a snack bar and let's just display message snack bar dot show so it's too overloaded and in this case I'm going to use symbol snack bar so the toast message hello and the number of seconds it is actually in microseconds milliseconds so for two seconds I'm going to give 2000 and let's run the program so you can see that the snack bar is working but that's not what we expected right we want some kind of uh, we have to add some kind of CSS styling in order to customize its look and feel so it's gonna display for five seconds and okay that's it and now we have to style it for that I have a main.css a CSS file and it is connected to the program using this code I mean string dot uh, string CSS is equal to I think you are already familiar with that so this is my main.css CSS file and I have to know what are the supported CSS styling in here and when I look into the source code of JFX snack bar you can see that there is a JFX snack bar toast CSS class JFX snack bar action CSS class and JFX snack bar content snack bar so for the first case I'm going to use this JFX snack bar content so I'm gonna paste it right here and I want to set the background color to something like uh, black okay so fx background color to pure black zero 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 I think it's six two four six okay right now let's run the code yeah we got a bla black background and that's not pretty you know so I'm going to set it to some kind of white ff 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 and there is one more class that we can change the color of the text that is visible or i mean the message and that can be set using the jfx snack bar toast class so that's it and i'm gonna fx text fill to something like uh, yeah uh, zero, 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 zero. So it's black and you can change the font size extra etc here I'm not going for that I just want to run the code so now you can see that I got a white background and black text so that's how you style the snack bar let's say it's, it's something like um, red green blue so this will be red so that's it we got a snack bar and let's give some action to the snack bar so that's it that's 
the simple form of snack bar and when we look into the constructor again jfx snack bar i mean uh, the, not the constructor there is a show method and this this show method takes a string message and an action text i mean we can give an action for the snack bar just like in android so i'm going to do that so uh, there is a string action test and let it be okay so when the user presses on the okay button some kind of action can be triggered and the long timeout is nothing but the uh, timeout that we have seen in the previous case so that's it and i need an event handler so an event handler can be easily set up by using event handler handler is equal to new event handler that was a wrong import from the java.beans.eventHandler I want the event handler from java fx class so uh, let's import the java fx dot event dot event handler and okay I want to implement the abstract methods so we can write the code inside this handle method that should be executed when we click on the ok button so okay let's uh, print something the system dot out dot print DLN, you clicked and last thing we will have to do is we have to pass the handler through the show method and let's run the code now you can see that when I click on this ok button the code the event handler is executing but uh, if you want to make the snack bar invisible when you click on the handle button you can do that from the handle method so it's not going out when when I click on the OK button, so that can be done here. That's snack bar dot. Uh, snack bar is not accessible because this is not the final method, final variable. So let's let's make that final and snack bar dot unregister snack bar container, and that container was root pane. And if we run the code now, I'm going to click on this OK button. So that's it. it's gone. So that's it. That's how you use a snack bar. And the last thing I want to show you is the one more class that's present in the snack bar that is JFX snack bar action. I mean, you can change the snack bar action text color using that class. I mean, JFX snack bar action, and we can give some kind of text field hash. Uh, let be green oh no <laughs> it's a uh, red green blue ff00 so that's it and um, text field this background color is not at all good but we can choose it right here there will be some kind of blue okay now let's run the code so that's it we have customized the look and feel even though the color is terrible uh, so that's it. That, that's how you use snack bar guys. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more cool videos. Thank you.